inside and so did Sail again. Master O'Reilly Gono dropped in. Non Dejeur seemed to get away okay. View handy too. Septimus is going up with Red Lord. Prize Lady is coming over quickly. Boundless is up on the speed. Far away coming over. Maltese trying to slot in. Latorio went by back towards the end in company with View. Still on a wide run, right behind him is Alessandra Volta sorting out their order now. They stretch across the track, and here it's Septimus with a narrow lead with Boundless on his outside. Barbaricus on the rail, far away, the black colours is up there. Deeper is Honolulu. Alessandra Volta is still staying out about six wide down the straight. Maltese prize lady in behind the leading bunch, and they're five two lengths away by view. Profound lady in on the fence, one further back is Red Lord, about three master O'Reilly, one gallop and a length and a half power. Nom de Jour getting up on the inside, being followed two lengths away to Mad Rush Sailor Gear and zipping the stablemates racing hand into one another. Followed by Newport, Gino, Latorio, and Ice Chariot on the rail last of all. As they went out towards the riverside now, and Alessandra Bolton takes over the running. And he leads by two lengths to Septimus. A length away, Honolulu. They're going to ensure a very strong gallop at the Melbourne Cup. They're four lengths in advance of Boundless, who's moved up into four, placing on the outside of Barbaricus. Two lengths then to Vara May. A length and a half to Moatai's prize lady. A length to Viewed. Then came Profound Beauty and two lengths away, Master O'Reilly, Red Lord. A length further back is Nom de Jour. A length and a half to Gallop and followed by Mad Rush and Bauer. One further back, Sail the Gear and then Zipping and Newport. Gino, Ice Chariot and Latourio is last of all. Alessandra Volta takes them out of the 1400 and he leads by two lengths. Septimus second on the inside. Honolulu on the outside and they're about six lengths in front now. From Boundless fourth and then Barbaric is a length away fifth. A length and a half to Moa Tees. Far away on the inside. Two lengths away then came uh, back on the inside. Prize Lady as they go down the side and then came Viewed on the outside. Past the 1200 metres. Two lengths. Profound Lady. She's been followed by Profound Beauty and then Master O'Reilly, Red Lord, Nom de Jour, two links to Gallop and Mad Rush a long way back so is Bauer and Sailor Gear behind them in Newport and Zipping and then Gino, Ice Chariot and Latorio last, they're up towards the turn, Alessandra Volta had the lead, two links to Septimus, two links to Honolulu, Boundless running on got up into fourth, followed by Moatiz running on the outside, Barbaric is under pressure, View coming with a run Profound Beauty getting to the outside from Vara Bay and then Red Lord and Gino as they swept to the turn, Honolulu dropped out right out quickly, and Septimus has the lead. Boundless is coming after him, Alessandra Volta's beaten off. Dune running on for Pound Beauty and Gino down the outside. Bautiz putting in his run. Boundless hit the lead of the 400 metres. Dune dashed to the front now. Dune raced away from them from Bautiz. Here's Pound Beauty running home. Bowers coming down the outside and Sailor Gear. Dune is clear though. 200 metres to go. Zipping, followed in by Mad Rush and Newport, then Nom de Jour, Barave, Gino, Boundless, followed by Red Lord, Latorio, Ice Chariot, uh, Septimus tied very badly, he's back there with Prize Lady, Barbaricus, Alessandra Volta, and Honolulu has just walked over the line, it's a photo finish, stand by for the number. Blake Shin gave him a big kick, away he went, and look, Blake's not sure, we're not sure, Bauer has got there, and I reckon Bauer has won 12. He has won his 12th Melbourne Cup. He's 81 next Friday. It's one of the richest stories we've ever seen in the race's history. 50 years ago to the day, Bart Cummins had his first Melbourne Cup runner. He's had 78 in total. He's won a dozen. No one else has won more than five.